So I am on the hunt again. I'm actually gonna head over to a local comic shop that I've picked up books from in the past. I've actually found some amazing books in this shop. So I wanna head over here and see if I can find some Immortal Hulk books hiding out in some bins. Wish me luck. I am sitting up the street from the local comic shop and I'm about to go in here. And, and it's, it's one of those things where you're on the hunt, you've already decided to spend some money. And the question becomes, do you find the thing that you're seeking and buy it? And if not, do you just buy something? Because you're already in the frame of mind of spending money. That is definitely my challenge because this comic shop is full of temptation, lots of boxes, lots of older books, lots of just goodness in general. So. I'm on the hunt for some specific stuff, but if I don't find that, the question becomes, do I buy something? I, I honestly don't know. I guess it depends on what I find because in this shop, you could find just about anything. You know, um, Anything is possible, honestly, because they're constantly getting um, collections in, they're constantly finding books, pulling books out of the warehouse, et cetera, et cetera. So wish me luck that I actually find what I'm looking for and if not, maybe we'll score big on some other cool stuff. So I'm just leaving the comic shop and they had the Immortal Hulk books that I went in there for, but I didn't get them. And I didn't get them because I found something better. This is gonna be epic. Stay tuned for the video. So I am back home and I'm ready to show you guys which comics I picked up. And as I mentioned, there were some things that I was going to do today that I decided not to do because it didn't really make sense. And, I, and I'll tell you more about that in just a second, but I want to show you guys some of the books that I actually picked up. The, the first book is not really a special book, but it is a significant book for me. It is Wolverine number 18 featuring Rough House. Now, why did I get this book? I got this book because I actually picked this book up as a kid, and I don't know where or how I got it. I doubt that I bought it. I may have traded for it, and I say that because the book is in really rough shape, and if I bought a book, I took care of it as a kid. So I picked this book up to replace the copy that has been in my collection since I was a teenager that is in really rough shape. That's a really nice copy of the book, so I, I found it in a bin, and I had to have it because, again, it, it, it helps me to upgrade the copy that I already have. The next books, uh, next set of books that I picked up are really nothing special, but I've been on this tear to basically have two full runs of the new Amazing Spider-Man title because I'm an Amazing Spider-Man fan, right? So I don't think it's going to hurt to have two full runs. So there was a couple of books that I decided to pick up. One of them was this. Amazing Spider-Man number 10. I think I have maybe one copy, maybe two, but it never hurts. Never hurts to have a backup copy of this book. A uh, really cool cover here. And then I also picked up two copies of the variant of number 10 featuring Spidey and uh, the Black Cat. Really, really cool cover there. So again, picked up two awesome copies of that. Got both of these, uh, really all three of these for cover price. So I can't be too upset about that at all. And as you guys know, I am putting together a run of Amazing Spider-Man. And so when I see higher grade copies of uh, books in that run, I try to pick them up. So I snagged this one, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 381 by my man Mark Bagley, or Bags, as he is called here on the cover. Really cool cover there. Uh, I have the book before and the book after, but I didn't have this one, so definitely pleased to have that. And then I also picked up this, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 390. I don't think there's anything significant about this one, but for some reason, the previous owner actually put it in a my light, so who knows? Um, but it's nice to have uh, this book in the collection because it fills a gap that I had. So. What was what was the major book that I picked up? I'm actually going to show you guys this. But as you know, I went to the shop to pick up Immortal Hulk and I actually found Immortal Hulk. I actually really enjoy that title. And so a part of me was was hoping that I would be able to find um, some of those really popular uh, issues and I could pick them up for cover price. And I actually found several of them. But as I was standing there debating my purchase, I realized that what I was doing didn't make sense. I was basically about to buy, you know, some modern books for basically cover price. Um, 
And it wasn't a significant amount of money, but it was still money that was being spent for something that I already have, right? Um, and so I decided that I was not going to purchase those books. Immortal Hulk is a good title, and I already basically have the full run. So to some degree, I was being uh, a little greedy, maybe a little a little hoarding, maybe speculating unnecessarily. And so I decided to put the books back. I put every single one of them back. I also saw um, Mr. Miracle there. Uh, and, and I've heard really good things about that title from DC. And I found, I think there were six of the 12 Mr. Miracle. I had those in my stack. I put those back as well because again, it didn't quite make sense what I was, what I was doing. And instead, what I decided to walk away with was this. Amazing Spider-Man number two. I actually had this book on hold for maybe two months and decided that I was going to put back those other modern books and I was actually going to pick up a book that I really, really wanted. And again, I did not intend to buy it when I went to the shop, but I was there and I was having this internal debate with myself and I decided that this was a better move. And part of the reason why in the background back there you see the Amazing Spider-Man books is because of this book right here. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Vulture. It is a really really nice copy of Amazing Spider-Man number two. Uh, I think it's probably like a four to a 4.5. Uh, it is a really, really clean copy. The page quality, I think is really high. So I'm excited at some point to send this book off with the rest of those behind me off to get uh, cleaned, pressed, and, and graded. So uh, I am pumped. I am pumped about this. And again, this, this puts me in the right direction of getting closer to finishing my run for Amazing Spider-Man. And no, I'm not even close. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm not even close, but it's a step in the right direction for me. So anyway, uh, I hope that you guys enjoy this mini haul. The last thing that I wanted to do is I actually wanna show you the book, The Slab, that is going to be given away this week thanks to our sponsor, Go Collect. And it is, in the spirit of what we're talking about, which is Amazing Spider-Man, it is Venom Lethal Protector number one. This is a 9.8 white page copy that will be given away this coming Sunday as part of my Ready, Set, Go preview show, which airs on Sundays at 7.30. Tune in to see who actually wins this. If you're interested in getting into the drawing to win the book, all you have to do in the comment section is put Venom's real name, the original Venom's real name into the comment section, and you will be entered into the drawing to actually win this book. Just a reminder, you have to be subscribed to the channel. You have to have a shipping address in the United States to be eligible to actually win the competition and to win the book. So good luck to you guys. Hopefully you guys will watch this video and will uh, want this book and will enter Venom's real name into the comment section. Good luck everyone and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I definitely want to encourage you to do so so that you can stay abreast of all the content that I release on a weekly basis. Take care. Be sure to visit BCW Supplies to learn about their 950 plus products for collectors. Products include card sleeves, display cases, comic bags, storage boxes, and gaming folders, just to name a few items. Head over to bcwsupplies.com today for more information.